Hey everybody, it's Mark Spectre Comics, and I'm back. This time, I ended up getting a package that I did recently with Mike from Night Tiger Comics, that epic trade that we did live. If you want to see what books I got in the package, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Um, like I said, back in the intro, ended up getting this nice package from Mike, Night Tiger Comics. If you're not familiar with the channel, I'm going to drop the link down in the description so you can subscribe and follow. Also on IG. Great guy. He's a big Golden Age, Silver Age, um, Bronze and Copper collector. And um, I've been, you know, subscribed to his channel for a long time. But um, this whole trade basically came about from, you know, a book that I ended up picking up at Terrificon. It was the Moon Knight number one, Terrificon exclusive by Ken Lashley. He saw the video and then reached out. And it was like, wow, it's a great book. I need to have it in my collection because it's a really sick Werewolf by Night 32 cover swipe. So uh, we started talking on IG. We ended up working out a live trade. So um, we did that on his channel. If you haven't saw that already, I'll drop that in the description as well. You can check that out if you want to see the whole trade. Um, he did his video recently on the books that I sent him. So now you get to see the books that I got. All right. So, got the package. You're probably asking, well, Dave, what are you drinking tonight? This was actually one of the beers I spotlighted on Friday's Beer and Comics. This crazy looking angry hippo. It's a triple horse by... Uh, River Horse Brewery out of Ewing, New Jersey. So, uh, definitely a really good beer. If you like Belgian style, this probably will be up your alley. Nice strong beer at 10%. So, uh, like I said, ended up doing this really nice trade. I'm excited to see the books in person. Package this really well. Got some pull tabs. Definitely need the pull tabs. It's a must in my uh, in my humble opinion. All right. It's a nice, healthy stack. Look at that. All right. I'm gonna open these up carefully and. Um, Looking at the book in the back, it looks like he uh, he puts the issue number, dates the the year, and if there's anything key about it, which I like. I like to do that as well too, because sometimes you just you know you have so many books and you just it's good to like you know jog your memory when you see it on there. Like all right, there you go. You don't forget. So you you know if you write. Sometimes I even write to what I pay for them, just as a reference, and uh, I'll write down the significance who the artist was, whatever the case may be. So we put them in two different stacks. Oh, good. It's covered on both sides, so you don't even know what they are. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to open up the bottom stack. Like I said, I don't know what stack is what. And then we'll start showing off the books. All right. So... I'm just going to show them off on the screen first, and then I'll see them right after. All right. So what do we got? Justice League of America, issue number 10. I believe this is Michael Turner. Uh, yes, it is. Yep. This is a really nice cover, no, nice <laughs> to say the least. Um, and he put these in Mylar, so this is awesome. I uh, I, pers I currently don't have any, you know, I have like maybe two or three books in Mylar, so this is uh, 
good to have some actually more now in the collection for the longest time I mean, past year year and a half now I've been bagging up my new pickups in uh, Silver Age bags and boards uh, not not mylars but you know it's just a little bit more more space but I, I'm gonna eventually have to uh, buy some mylars or my lights and uh, start bagging you know the books that are worth a little bit more versus your common you know low price books so that's that next book oh cool this is from February of 95. It's a painted cover by Mark Teixeira. And it's featuring Lynn Michaels as the new Punisher. See, look at that. I don't even have to worry about it because he writes it right there on the back. And this is a great cover. This is on there. Tex. Really nice cover. Yeah, you can tell it's a painted cover. Really cool. Like I said, all these books I do not have. So it's great to have this in the collection. Next book. Oh. There you go, Punisher War Journal, issue number 73. Lynn Michaels as Punisher, low print run. Look at that. He even wrote something a little significant. It's a low print run. Really cool. And these are in beautiful condition. Yeah, very nice. Next book. Oh, cool. This was the, um, this had to do with, I think, Madam Hydra. This was like a hot spec book recently. Maybe a couple of months ago with the, um, uh, what was that show? Captain America and the Falcon, Falcon, yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier, something like that. With Madam Hydra, this is Madam Hydra revealed as Contessa, Valentina, Allegra, De La Fontaine. <laughs> Say that fast. Uh, so here we go. Next book. Oh, cool. This is another cool uh, uh, spec book. This is first full appearance of the third blue beetle. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Himes Reyes or Jamie's Reyes. George Perez variant cover. Nice cover there. April of 2006. And another beautiful condition. These are all like high grade, just like he said. And then the last book of this section oh cool a west coast avengers book and uh i do got a, a decent stack of west coast avengers in my collection and um those are all uh a-okayed my money my buddy uh rayman because there was a lot of uh, moon knight you know featuring in that west coast avengers run so this is another good one to add to my collection this is the uh first appearance of the great lake avengers and uh, it says it right there on the uh, right there on the book. And uh, I wouldn't have known that if I saw this book in general in the wild. But uh, I did know that this is uh, Big Bertha right here. The rest of the characters I was not familiar with whatsoever. So we got uh, Dina Soar, Doorman, uh, Flatman, <laughs> Flatman, <laughs> and uh, Mr. Immortal. It's a John Byrne art and script. So that's uh, West Coast Avengers issue number 46. All right. And then the other pack, this was the uh, the bigger keys. So those are the lesser keys. So now we're going into the bigger keys. If you're still watching this video to this point, I want to say thank you. You know, because I often see when I'm watching some of the data that uh, a lot of the times a lot of the viewers typically only watch the first four to six minutes of a video, so uh, I'm glad you're still here watching the video if you still are. And uh, going on to the, like I said, last stack of books. Do it just like before. I'll show you guys first, and then I'll see for myself. So first book, Infinite Crisis, issue number one, December of 05. Death of the Second Phantom Lady by Deathstroke. And I believe he said it's the fan same Phantom Lady that's referenced from the Golden Age. So this is the second Phantom Lady, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and uh, next book. This was a cool book. I remember uh, when he showed this. This is a book I did not have. And I'm, you know, happy to have especially after uh, watching the Suicide Squad movie, even though the character was killed off, 
I did like I did like her portrayal of it in the movie. I believe it was played by I want to say Viola Davis, but she did a great job. And so this is the first appearance of Amanda Waller, first appearance of Captain Marvel after Crisis of uh, Infinite Earths, Fawcett characters integrated into the DC universe, first appearance of Brimstone. So uh, great book to have, especially if you're a DC collector, it's a good book to have. So this is uh, DC Legends issue number one. November of 1986. All right, and we're down to our last three books. So uh, here we go. Boom, this was the big book. From April of 1978, which if you're not familiar, in 78 they were all new stands. So I don't wanna hear new stands, <laughs> they're all new stands. <laughs> So it's a uh, first solo appearance, uh, first solo title of uh, Spider-Woman and her new costume. So Spider-Woman issue number one. Never had this book. I don't have any Spider-Woman books in my collection, so this is great to have this. Beautiful copy. I think you said it was around an 885, which it definitely looks every bit of that. And um, I'll probably end up sending this off for grading because this is just a beautiful copy. Just to, you know, just to get it slabbed. It's beautiful. All right, last two books. Here we go. Oh, yeah, this is the other book right here. So I'm um, pretty sure you guys know what this book is. This is Captain America Annual Number 8. Classic Wolverine Captain America Battle. He said it's a great story. I've never read it. I'm definitely going to open this up and read it. It's Mike Zek classic cover. And um, I don't know if he wrote it as well, but I know it's a Mike Zek um, cover art. Beautiful. And then the last book, Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars issue number 10. Really nice Doctor Doom cover. And uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I had a blast doing the trade with Mike. Um, he loved the books I traded him. I loved the books I got from him. And uh, if you guys like that, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out Mike's video as well. I put that link down in the description. And until next time, Mark Spectre Comics. Out.